first question, what motivated you to transition? Well, I originally went natural back in 2004 by accident. It had been about nine months since I had a relaxer put in my hair. And in March of 2005, right before I graduated, I decided to get twists put in because I wanted to get locks at that time. Um, it turns out with the boot camp June 2005, and if anybody who's in the military know that twists, dreads, whatever, is not allowed in the military, especially not in boot camp, which is a three month long training process. So I combed the twist out of my hair probably in June of 2005, and then I went back to a relaxer. Um, I kept a relaxer in my head up until February of 2008, February, March of 2008. Um, I was getting ready for my wedding. I got some micro braids put in my hair and the girl who did my hair put glue, nail glue in my hair. And um, at that time I was thinking about going natural. That's why I got braids put in my hair for my wedding. And um, when I got ready to take the braids out come May time frame, right after I had my second child, I had glue in my hair, it was stuck in my hair. so. I was really upset because, you know, I did want to go natural, but I wanted to transition for about a year. And uh, obviously I wasn't able to do that because the glue was in my hair. So I went to the salon, got it cut off, and I had about maybe a half inch of hair left on my head. So my transition process wasn't as long as I would have liked it to have been, but you know how that goes. I'm kind of glad that I did it because now I have been natural. Well, I did my big chop June 2nd, 2008, so it's probably been about 17 months. And right now, I have my hair in kinky twists that I've done myself. They've been in for probably about almost nine weeks now. I plan on keeping them in for three months, taking them out, you know, and then checking length and see how the process of my hair is going from there. Um, second question. How did your family and friends react? I don't have any family here except for my husband and my children. I'm in Jacksonville, North Carolina, Camp Lejeune, Marine Corps, you know, so there's nothing but Marines here. Um, but my husband wasn't too bad about it. You know, he said, um, I think he was just being nice, you know, because I thought I looked like a boy because my hair was really, really short. I'll see if I can post a video of my big chop in this video. But, um... I mean, I, my coworkers at work, you know, they were pretty shocked, but it was a new job that I was working at. So I guess um, no one really reacted negatively to it. So I guess I got good responses from it, you know? Uh, next question. What was my regimen? Um, like I said, I did my big chop when I was in my last year of the Marine Corps. So my regimen pretty much was I washed once a week shampooed, conditioned, deep conditioned my hair, and I just pretty much wore a teeny weeny afro um, up until probably about August or September of 2008, and I started getting braids. And the reason why I got braids, and I still continue to get braids, is because I'm, I'm very proud of my natural hair, but I'm not ready to wear it out. It's not a length where I'm comfortable with it. And then again, I'm a stay at home mom now of three children under the age of three. So I really don't have the time to kind of deal with my hair. Um, I'm planning on transitioning, if you will, you know, uh, with braids and twists and wigs and weaves until my two year nappy anniversary, which is June 2nd, 2010. Um, so that pretty much was my regimen. I didn't do too much. And now that I have braids in, you know, like I said, I still wash every one to two weeks with diluted shampoo or baking soda wash that I got from Pretty Dimples 01 with the toothbrush and everything in your scalp. It really cleans my scalp really well. And I haven't experienced any breakage or anything with that. Um, and uh, you know, I redo my edges once every four to six weeks. And then, like I said, they stay anywhere from two to three months so that's my regimen as of right now um next question what were your concerns about going natural i didn't really have too many concerns about going natural you know youtube has really helped a lot with a lot of my questions there are a lot of natural women on youtube who i get a lot of inspiration and questions and answers from so i pretty much don't have any questions or concerns even now to this day 17 months later with uh natural hair. if i do that's what youtube is there for there are plenty of people on here 
who um, have an answer to anything that you may have a question about. Um, my favorite natural hairstyle, when it's not in braids or twists or whatever, I love the frohawk, whether it's braided up on the sides or if it's just, you know, with bobby pins up. But that was like my hairstyle. You know, when I said it, when I hit one year natural, that I was just going to rock that all the time. You know, it turns out, you know, like I said, I'm a mother of three under three, so I don't really have the time to do that. But when my hair is not in braids or twists, I'm either putting it in a puff or, um, excuse me, or I'm doing um, a frohawk. Those are my two favorite hairstyles, but you know, anything that I can do with natural hair is pretty cool, except for using heat. I don't really use heat on my hair. Um, that brings me to the next question. What do you love about your natural hair? I would have to say pretty much everything. The only thing that I kind of don't like is the detangling process, but you know, that goes along with the territory, so. But I love that it could be straightened, it could be curled, you know, it could be um, flat ironed. Well, that's the same thing. But, you know, you can get the bone straight look. You can get the curly look. You can get, you know, the big hair look. You can twist it. You can braid it. You can put it in a puff. You can wash and go. It's so much versatility with natural hair. That's why I don't think I will ever go back to a relaxer. You know, because with a relaxer, my hair was breaking. It was short. It never grew. And, I mean, that can come with lack of maintenance, too. You know, I've also learned how to take care and maintain my hair, you know, with me being natural. You know, my daughter's natural, obviously. She's three years old, and I've learned how to take care of her hair and how to do different styles of hair, and I've just learned how to really care for my hair and take care of it, you know, and do the right things for it, eating the right things, and I'm more aware and more conscious of my hair and who, and who I don't want to touch my hair. You know, I haven't been to a salon since last December, and... I take care of my hair, and I would have never done that being relaxed. I would have relied on someone else to do that with my hair. So that is another thing that is awesome about natural hair. Um, was it easy? And I'm assuming that you're talking about the whole transition and big chop process. I mean, I believe hair is hair, you know, and my hair probably was as healthy as when I did my big chop. You know, like I said, I didn't get the transition as long as I would have liked to, but, you know, whatever. It was meant to be because I love it now. But um, for me, it wasn't that hard because with, with being in the military, you know, you kind of get a little bit of adversity. But, you know, I, the braids has really helped me, I think, you know, and then watching videos of other naturals on YouTube. Although there aren't very many about naturals who are in the military, you know, although I just got out in June, I still was in, you know, pretty much for a full year of me after I did my big chop of me being natural. Um... How did I stay on course? Again, I stayed on course and stayed wanting to be natural. I never thought about going back to relaxer really, but I stayed on course by watching and subscribing to other naturals on YouTube because they experienced and shared the same kind of feelings I felt about natural hair. You know, it's hard to tangle or I don't know what to do my hair today. It's dry, it's matted, you know, all those questions. But YouTube has really, really, really helped me out a lot. So um, I think that was my biggest thing that I've used to you know, keep my head in the game and saying, you know, I'm not going to relax. I don't think I'll ever go back to getting relaxed. I love my hair being natural. Um, any advice that I could have for any newbies? What I would say is that, you know, find what works for you. Uh, that's my baby that you guys hear in the background. He's six months old. Um, the advice that I think that I would have would be to... You know, look at other people's regimens, but find what works for you. It's fine to kind of Take and pick and choose from what their regimen is, what you like for your hair. But don't think because it works for somebody else's hair, even if it's a similar texture or length, that it's going to work for you. You have to listen to your hair and find out what your hair likes. Some people can go a whole month without washing their hair. You know, and others, they have to wash every couple of days if you have oily scalp. You know, some people can use a certain product on their hair. Others can't. You have to really figure out what works for you. So, I mean, that would be my number one tip for anybody who's natural. And if you want to wear, you know, protective styles like extensions, weaves, wigs, you know, braids, kinky twists, whatever, you know, don't let that affect you. You know, you're still natural. You know, maybe you're not ready to wear your hair out. And if that will stop you from putting relax in your hair or, you know, get you to the point to where you're comfortable with the length and the style or whatever of your natural hair, then do it. But just don't use it as a crutch, you know. If you got other things going, it's okay to give your hair a break and kind of take, take a break from it. But if you need any help with how to deal with your natural natural hair texture or you know you're kind of frustrated or you feel like you want to go back to the relaxer 
search YouTube 